Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back, Patrick here. And moving on to the next question. This one's gonna have a lot of algebra as a heads up. So we've got to simplify this expression. 3x to the negative two minus three y to the negative two, all over x to the negative three minus y to the negative three. Now, to start this off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the exponents in the numerator and denominator and change them to positive exponents. So the three x to the negative two, I'm gonna rewrite as three over x squared. And then the 3y to the negative 2, I'm going to rewrite as 3 over y squared. And this is going to be all over x to the negative 3 is 1 over x to the 3 minus y to the negative 3 is 1 over y to the 3, like that. And so from here, what I'm going to do is combine this into one fraction. I'm going to do that on the side here. And then I'm going to take this and combine it into one fraction. And then if we have a single fraction up here, single fraction over here, we can divide both of these fractions a little more smoothly. So to combine these, notice there are two fractions that are subtracting. So we need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by y squared, multiply this by x squared, meaning the top I multiply by y squared and then this top I multiply by x squared. So we would end up with three y squared minus three x squared all over x squared y squared. So this simplifies to that. It doesn't simplify to that. We still have more simplification left to do, but these two fractions equal this single fraction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this and plug it in for the numerator. So we'd have three y squared minus three x squared all over x squared y squared divided by, now I'm gonna take this expression, one over x to the three minus one over y to the three. I'm gonna multiply this by y to the three, multiply this by x to the three, right? Common denominator. Uh, so we would end up with y to the three minus x to the three all over x to the three, y to the three, like that. So this is the same as that. So I'm going to rewrite that over here. Okay, so we got one fraction divided by another fraction. Basically took these expressions in the numerator and denominator and created single fractions in both. That's always the process that I go through. And then once I have it like this, basically my next step is instead of having it in this fraction format, I take that first fraction and then divide it by that second fraction. And you know what, let's maybe not even, uh, let's maybe not even write this bracket here. And then from here, what you wanna do is you wanna factor before getting the restrictions. Factor any expressions that can be factored. So notice that in this numerator, I can factor out a three. Uh, the denominator here, we can't do anything about that. Now notice that y to the three minus x to the three, what is that? That is a difference of cubes. So if you remember, a to the three minus b to the three in general, that's the formula for a difference of cubes. The y value is a, the x value is b in this case. So we just sub them in for these a and b values. So we'd have y minus x, y squared plus xy plus x squared like that. Okay, so this y to the three minus x to the three factors into that. So we would have y minus x, y squared plus xy plus x squared, all over x to the three, y to the three like that. And then one more thing, this y squared minus x squared, notice that's a difference of squares. So instead of writing another line, I'm just gonna rewrite that numerator here. This could be your next line, uh, y minus x, y plus x, 
like that. And now everything is factored. And then this bracket, we can't factor any further. And so from here, I feel like it's best to get the restriction. So notice that in this first fraction, the denominator can't be zero. So notice x cannot equal zero, y cannot equal zero. So those are two restrictions happening for sure over here as well from that denominator. But notice that since we're dividing by a fraction, the fraction that we're dividing by, the numerator of that fraction can't be zero because if it was, it would make the whole thing zero, can't divide by zero. So this here can't be zero, but y minus x cannot equal zero, which means y cannot equal x. Right, so that's another restriction that we would get from this bracket over here. And then from this one, we can't get a restriction there. Okay, so that is pretty much it. So we got our restrictions and now we can simplify. So what we would do is flip that second fraction and then multiply it. So x to the three, y to the three, all over y minus x, x squared plus xy plus x, or uh, sorry, y squared plus xy plus x squared, like that. And now notice y minus x, y minus x cancel out. This, we're left with an xy up there and then nothing else unfortunately cancels in this case. So we would have three x y, y plus x, all over uh, this bracket, y squared plus x y plus x squared. All right, so this expression simplifies to that, and then those are the restrictions.